So, Layman's Guide to Relaxation, Resilience and Mindfulness. Thank you and welcome. <clears throat> we have been, during the last uh, couple of sessions, possibly three sessions, I'm uh, just reminding you, we picked up uh, the happiness in four stages, pleasure, happiness, short-lived, repeat, pleasure reduces, and at last it is gone, the mind runs after the second pleasure. Second level is the satisfaction, happiness, we absorb it over ourselves in any creative pursuit. <clears throat> Third level is uh, that we start helping others, that also gives me happiness. You see, you're going to a restaurant eating your favorite food, pleasure and more happiness we get you know then we start helping others you know so that is the different stages of the happiness and the last stage the master speaks of is the self-discovery our nature is full of peace happiness and wisdom that is what we covered in the last <coughs> And I have covered the Shreyas and the Prayas. Now, just a uh, uh, first step I have been saying that meditation is a journey. Now, can we become aware here and now the journey we have taken in our life? And one thing is common in all people. What is that? <clears throat> Every 24 hours, we have moments of likes and dislikes. Am I right? We have moments of pain and pleasure. Am I right? Say to yourself. Yeah. Now see that what hours after hours, days after days, weeks after weeks, months after months, years after years, we have been living the same life. There is a quantitative change. You know, today I got $10,000 and yesterday I got only $500. That is the difference. Now see, hours after hours, days after days, weeks after weeks, months after months, years after years, we have been living the same life. Now we can say we have a lot of spices of likes and dislikes, pain and pleasure, love and hate, hesitation and anger. Is this the life? If I don't think, if I do not contemplate, I cannot make a right journey to the mindfulness. It is not a panacea, you know. <clears throat> it is like uh, getting a driving license. You don't pass the examination, written in the practical, you don't get a driving license. So what we start thinking, oh, meditation is just, you know, forget about everything, close your eyes and do meditation and it is done. No, no. That is what masters have been teaching. So I'm just sowing a seed of reflecting on your life. What is that reflection? Years after years, weeks after weeks, we have those elements of likes and dislikes, hesitation on small things, at home and at work, in our relationship, outside. <clears throat> this is, has been happening. Can you say there is, a, there is a qualitative change in our life? So once we start contemplating, come on, how come this hesitation has come? When I love this person, how come hesitation has entered into my life? How come I have started disliking? You, when you start contemplating on your life, the default setting of the mind changes. <clears throat> what is that default setting of the mind? What is that default setting of the mind? 
Uh, we can mm, we can understand through the science also. We have an animal mind. The mind is constantly evolving. It has come from the <coughs> animal mind in our in the course of our evolution. Now, what is happening? That mind is full of fear. Or can I use the same phrase that the science has been using? Survival for the fittest. We know it. It's, it's a fact. So as long as we are using that mind, the default setting of the mind, and we do not change it, the life will remain the same. There will not, will not be any qualitative change. J just pick up. I'm just giving you those thoughts to contemplate. I'm not saying that I'm right or wrong. Just look at the fact. And now extend that animal mentality to the human mind. <clears throat> you know, <laughs> in the first session we had with the Prisla, I said, I became homeless and jobless. <laughs> That pointed out the default setting. Forget about the default setting. We accumulate the things in order for filling that insecurity gap. I relate myself. I say to the other person, I love you so much. It is. Is it because of the insecurity or is it for the sake of love? Am I relating to some people? For the sake of insecurity or for the sake of just love. Until that mind changes inside, we will not succeed and discover our true nature. Pay attention. It does not mean that we should not earn money. It does not mean that we should not accumulate. It is required. A lot of things are required at the material level. I'm not talking at the material level. <clears throat> so I just pointed out uh, with a, indirectly that I became homeless, jobless, oh, everything knowledgeless. You are free from the fear. Our idea of accumulation is due to the fear, the feeling of insecurity. Two things. And third thing every master says, our real nature is full of peace and happiness. As long as this default setting of the mind do not change, we cannot really grasp deeper inside that peace is our essential nature. Now when I tell you that here is a home, my home address, now you are, your mind is very much clear. Even if you don't know, you put the GPS and you reach my home. I have been giving these practices for almost for the last more than 30 years. Why you do, your mind doesn't pick up? <clears throat> Why the mind does not live into that state? What I mean by that? The mind must change. Mind must change. Mind overlaps with the default setting, with the same feeling of insecurity and covers it with, you know, come on. Oh, I'm sorry I had a differences with you. Come on, let us go to the restaurant weeks after weeks, years after year, we are doing the same thing. <laughs> Everyone is laughing. Isn't it, Paul? We are doing the same thing again and again. <clears throat> Can I change? Can you say to honey, yes, honey, I was hesitated, so come on, let us sit. I want to find out and get rid of this hesitation once and forever. No, 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 let us go to the restaurant. I'm sorry, so I'll give you a treat. And we are happy the second time we do the same thing. And still we feel that, you know, Okay, I've been doing it regularly and I do not succeed. <laughs> no, no, no. Not possible. So the master comes out with something more. They say, are you qualified seeker? 
you read, <coughs> you, you buy the books and sometimes you buy the books to beautify your bookshelf at home. You never touch it. Sometime you read the book and you say, this is not for me, gone. You read the book and you understand, but you don't practice. So you see that all these things and activities again goes back to the default setting of the mind. I, no, no, I know it. I understood it. This beard guy gives the practice and he talks a lot and uh, it doesn't change. It's, it's not so easy. There the master says, I have to become a qualified seeker. And so simple. I pick up one principle, I close my eyes for even for five minutes during the day, couple of times, and I say, what is that principle? <clears throat> oh, let me contemplate and reflect, follows by a regular practice, the life changes. Then in the very first week it changes. We don't apply those principles. Uh, one great master who lived in 7th century, Shankaracharya, <clears throat> who used to say that I'm simply a pointer, a beautiful seat. Why I am a pointer? You see his, uh, his uh, logic. He has contributed more than 200 books. And uh, he says, why I am a pointer? Because the peace is already within you. I'm not giving you peace. I'm not giving you happiness. I'm not giving you anything. I'm just pointing you out. Uh, in modern term, we can say I'm just a GPS. Here is the address. Put it. Do you know how to run the GPS? That is what the meditation is. <clears throat> so one has to follow. Pick up any point. I don't get a driving license without passing the written examination. It means I have to read, I have to study, I have to contemplate, I have to reflect. Passing the written examination doesn't mean that you pass it and you forget it but then you follow the practical examination, then you get a driving license. And then you are on a road, on a highway, anywhere. Mm. That is the qualitative change in the mind. My friends, pick up these things and remember and contemplate during the day and let us start our journey, the mindfulness, close your eyes, now see, today's practice, what we have studied, what we have understood, <coughs> we will follow that. Eyes are closed and become aware of the current experience of years and years, years and years. Can you say no, it's a joke and it's also a very uh, serious uh, statement. <clears throat> Can you say I have 20 and 25 years of experience of repeated anxiety, hesitation, likes, dislikes? I know you won't, don't want to say it. You, would, you will never say it. And from there the real journey starts when you become aware of it. And that is where I bring that silently to you. <coughs> See that how I bring it? When I say be comfortable, current experience, you raise your awareness, you look at the neck joint, you feel the sensation, you experience being comfortable and you experience the steadiness. Now, what is that silent communication? Closing the eyes is the first communication that through the sense perception I cannot find the reality. Through the sense organs I know you, <clears throat> but the sense organs are useless to know me. 
car is meant for driving so let me use it sense organs are meant <coughs> for living the external world let us live it and say goodbye to it in meditation shoulder joints sensation being comfortable and steadiness and behind that awareness <clears throat> the idea is the mind running after things outside through the sense organs cannot help me to discover myself closing the eyes is a symbolic <clears throat> to closing shutting off all the sense organs and how we do it you had need to just become aware of being comfortable see that is the point so look at the hip joint feel the sensation being comfortable and steadiness knee joints <clears throat> knee joints sensation being comfortable and steadiness the entire body you see the masters have been saying specially in one group of meditation which americans we americans know that it is mindfulness which is a fortless and natural now see what the masters are pointing out it is a fortless and natural what it means <clears throat> the mind is constantly making all efforts for the sake of insecurity drop it simply drop it who drops it your mind and there comes the understanding of being carefree thoughts are coming let it go now i'm adding more four points <clears throat> in being carefree thoughts feeling sensation noise from outside anything enters into your mind become aware and then if it continues let it let it come let it go that we have been using so let us add one more let it stay any thought and feeling stays there let it stay why I am not supporting the default setting of the mind that is going always running, just for the sake of insecurity. Let it stay, and the fourth is the highest. Let it be. Being carefree has four elements now. Let it come. Good. let it go good why because 99% of the activity of the mind is related to filling the gap getting that sense of security and still the insecurity and the fear continues in our life days after days weeks after weeks years after years <clears throat> being carefree then what is left being natural just raise your awareness the journey of mindfulness 
needs that I should raise the bar of my awareness higher. And everything happens inside. So what is being natural? I, even I do not think, I know I am. That is another point of being natural. Let the mind move to the awareness I am. That's all. <clears throat> it is not that I'm I'm stressed, I'm anxious, I'm meditating. No. The moment you extend I am, it enters into the field of the mind. And the mind picks up the default setting. And the default setting picks up the thoughts. And it repeats it. And it continues. See that. That is why I have been saying being natural. Many ways. Any explanation your mind picks up, digests, you're there. Uh, so, <clears throat> now what should be there? I would say simply settle down. I'm giving you another uh, phrase. Just think of it. Settle down. How you settle down? And what it means? Let us see. You have been doing it. Look at the head and the neck. Be there. Be there for a new experience. One thing and the other thing. Let me change my experience through the mind. A big difference. Let me change my experience of pleasure, satisfaction, value happiness, helping others. In all the three happiness stays for some time does not last forever. And now what I'm saying. <clears throat> Look at the head and the neck and be there. The point is that the mind we don't follow the default setting of the mind. Be there, wait there. And then I say experience, sensation, relaxation and stillness. And you enjoy that state. So we are just going deeper in understanding with that understanding, our bar of awareness goes up. And that helps the mind to go within. Right arm. Just move the right arm. Move the mind on the right arm, sorry. I'm going to be there and wait there. So what happens? Sensation, relaxation and stillness. <clears throat> so the point of, you know, I, I think most of you have been understanding that uh, this guy is always say sensation, relaxation, and stillness. I'm asking your mind to settle down. Look at the left arm. But when you do it with a clarity and understanding, it changes. Be there sensation, relaxation and stillness. Chest in the belly, sensation, relaxation and stillness.
<coughs> Go a little deeper into the same step. Move the mind on the right leg. Be there and wait there. So the default setting of the mind returns and it starts thinking, Oh, why should you stay? You already know it, so there is no need of doing it. You have already done it. Think about the agenda tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> think what happened in the past. You see the default setting of the mind? What should we, we do with that? Nothing. <clears throat> Let it come and go. You are waiting there, you are being there, and something happens. Your experience changes without doing anything. How do you learn from your experience when you are aware of it? You don't take it for granted. So you look at the right leg, be there and experience the sensation, relaxation and stillness. Left leg. Left leg. Be there and wait there. So, does it make a sense to your mind when I say be there and wait there and behind thoughts are there, feeling is there, sensation is there, maybe memory of reaction is there. Does it make a sense? Be there and wait there. You're there. And that will give rise to a new experience of the sensation, relaxation and stillness. And as you do the regular practice, the time comes, what happens? The mind becomes qualified. It knows what it means by an experience of indifference. Uh, the indifference in, uh, in Eastern wisdom is known as uparati. <clears throat> the literal meaning of uparati is sitting about. You are sitting about the default setting of the mind. And if you are aware of that moment, you are already deeper. Look at it. I'm not teaching, I'm just pointing you out. You are there, my friends. Ah, yes, the entire body, sensation, relaxation and stillness. Sensation, relaxation and stillness. Good. Sensation, relaxation and stillness in the entire body. What should be our uh, next step? I'm just using the term so that your mind can instantly pick up and say, Oh, it is so simple. That is right. So the next step, you have settled down the body. Good enough. Why don't you settle down the mind? Why I'm using that so that you're, you, you raise your awareness. Can I raise your awareness? No. Can I raise your awareness of the external world? Yes. All the personality, development, stress management programs that focus on the scientific principle do that. Settle down the mind. So I'm just picking up again. Pay attention. Look at the head and the neck inside. Look at the head and the neck inside and be there. Again, I'm asking you be there. See what happens.
Normally, we our experiences calmness and quietness. One great master points out the state of calmness is when you have a sensation, feeling of sensation, experience of sensation inside, even a little bit, and the inner space or the darkness is a sign of quietness. Now, what works? If we go deeper, first it works uparati. Uparati means sitting above. And if I use another principle <clears throat> that the master says, it is required before you embark on a journey of meditation. If you embark on the journey of meditation, you will understand that. What is that point? Again, look at it. And just with awareness, experience, look inside the right arm, be there, wait there. So first thing you have understood the operati, you're sitting above all the experiences and that leads to the state of the calmness and quietness. Now the thoughts are still there. Thoughts are still there, feeling is still there. Huh? So there the master says, titiksha. Titiksha. What is that, Titiksha? <clears throat> so when you have those thoughts, when you are moving the mind inside and still those thoughts, feeling and the sensations are there, the Master says Titiksha. Literal meaning is tolerate. Now make it very easy. You are driving your car. Do you tolerate other vehicles on the road? No. So it combines with indifference, with awareness. That is the point. Today we are just going deeper. And every time I say we are going deeper, yes. And look inside the left arm. Be there. Wait there. Learning from your experiences. Uparati is already there. You are sitting about the experiences of the body that is sensation, relaxation and stillness outside. That's why I'm not saying it. If you experience the calmness and a quietness. Don't you experience calmness and quietness while driving? Yes. Why not here? Why not now? Yes, I'm experiencing. You are with me. How simple it is. So, uh, looking inside the chest and the belly, sensation, Calmness and quietness. Look inside the right leg. Sensation. Inside, calmness, space inside, calm, quietness. Not saying anything. The, the, this step, I have rephrased it, settle down the mind. <clears throat> Can you settle down the mind if I say stop speaking? And you tell me that 
Now I have totally stopped speaking. What is the next? You have started speaking. So settling down the mind must have a couple of elements. First, that we go above the mind. We have already done it in the previous step. <clears throat> and in this step, Tatiksha, sitting above with tolerance. But again, I made it very clear, do you drive? <clears throat> when you are driving, are you tolerating other vehicles? No, not at all. Any thought comes and you say, come on, uh, you are a stranger. I don't know you. The meaning is that. <clears throat> okay. Inside the left leg, calmness and quietness. Inside the entire body. Inside the entire body. Calmness and quietness. <clears throat> so when we follow the principle, I have been telling you that we should know the principle, we should contemplate and reflect, that makes us a seeker, and when we do the practice, the same thing we do here in the, pra in the journey. Now what we have learned from our experience, and that experience continues. See the point? It continues. What is the default setting of the mind? You already know, I have already talked about it. Hours after hours, weeks after years after years, the same experience, the same individual inside. But everything has changed outside. Oh, I got a big house, I have a lot of money, I have a few cars, and so on. We, quality of the mind has to change. So now see, your experience is continuous of being comfortable, being carefree, being casual, natural, sensation, relaxation, and stillness outside, calmness and quietness inside. You see that sense? Calmness and quietness inside. That continues. It means it settles. You have settled down the body. You have settled the mind. What? You are ready to transcend the body and the mind. <clears throat> we'll go for the same practice with a different quality by understanding. So look at the breath. <clears throat> Experience, just experience. Don't ask the mind to see anything, to change anything. See everything, but don't change anything. Uh, the way, the way you know I am. The way you know I am. You need not to think. You need not to claim, come on, see me, I exist. You need not to use the sense organ. That is settling the mind. This step is I am. means the breath goes in and out is your experience without you doing it. You feel the sensation of the breath without you encouraging the mind to experience it. 
no change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath without you doing anything. Now I change the entire perception through these three statements. It helps us to raise the mental awareness inside. Oh yes, I have to do nothing. I'm already experiencing comfort, uh, steadiness, relaxation, stillness. And I also frequently experience calmness and quietness inside. <clears throat> and I'm aware that I'm sitting above all the experiences. And then I have a new experience. Awareness, the breath goes in and out. Uh, you feel the sensation. It is your experience and there is no change. That is to your experience. But can you discover where this movement of the breath is happening? And that helps us to go behind. The container, the space, that movement of the breath, that feeling of the sensation, that, that awareness that there is no change, and that sensation, relaxation and stillness, and that calmness and quietness, is happening, is there, is there. You did not create a space before. You said, okay, let me create a space so that the breath can move and uh, let it touch the body so that I have a sensation. No. We are erasing the default setting of the mind and helping the mind to have a new experience without doing anything. I have to say, it cannot be said, are you aware of that space where all experiences are happening. I'm asking you a simple question and it is your experience. You need not to answer me through mind. Are you if I say, are you an experiencer in the midst of all experiences? And that is what, that is why I'm asking you to become aware of the container. Become aware of the container. Become aware of that container, the space where all experiences are happening. And in that context, I said just become aware of the space. I'm not giving you too much of task to think. I become aware of the space because the mind picks up that space easily and we need not to worry. The time comes when the mind merges with the space 
we discover the self. The self is the container. I'm making it easy again. And that is the dis goal of the Eastern wisdom or the mindfulness. Buddha says, know thyself. Buddha says, be aware of the breath. Don't go to Hatha Yoga to do all the pranayama. See the difference. He said, yes, breath awareness. But then he said, know thyself. My friends, the default setting of the mind returns and it says, I know myself. The journey stops. And journey continues, years after years, months after months. I'm just pointing out. Just do nothing. Remain as you are. We are already doing nothing. Even you have learned in today's lesson that I'm, it seems, it appears that I'm different. I'm separate from all these experiences. I am an experiencer. The job is done. Hmm. on the left hand, lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside, know your experiences, bring the hands down. Let us share our experiences. What happened belongs to you, what did not happen also belongs to you. Why? I showed you to, to put it into the GPS. How are you, Lena? <laughs> Very well. Very well? I could see that. Every time it is new. Something yes. New. Yes. Why? Uh, because of these crazy masters who passed on this wisdom to us. I'm simply pointing. So why it is new? Because when the mind is fully aware, then it experiences something new. And that makes you a qualified seeker. Not only a seeker, but it leads you to a deeper experience. That is why people are with me for years and years together. How are you, Samir? Sir, I am fine, sir. I, I don't know what happened. I slept in the last five minutes. 
<laughs> okay. You went into deep sleep. Yes. We can say sleep meditation. Last <laughs> nine <laughs> that's all. Don't worry. Don't worry. We Americans can invent anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. Priscilla and Paul, how are you? We're doing well. I um uh, uh, I thought when you started singing as the group was that uh, that was rather abrupt for me. Oh. Well that's not usual. Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes it happens because of that default setting of the mind uh, awakens to the past experiences and it brings it. But then it you settle down and calmness was there. Yes. Good. How are you, Priscilla? <laughs> when you said to go into your leg and stay there? Yeah. Then I did not feel my body from the waist down. That's very really good. And the same for my head. I didn't feel my head. And then, I don't know, some noise or something brought me out of it. And then I... I ah, yes, yes. And I was just relaxed. But before I... my body disappeared. Wonderful. That is wonderful, yes. That's what I say, settle down the body, it means settle down the sense organ. Even if there is a noise outside, nothing happens. The default setting, everything happens. What is the default setting? The neighbors make a big noise and we say, what the hell should I do? Do nothing. No, but uh, if there is an extreme noise, we call the cop. But question is here, the senses that is outward moving should be withdrawn inside. How to withdraw it inside? Not by force, but by awareness. Finished. How are you, Anne? I feel good. Yeah. I... Everything, I was always quiet and, and the other thoughts just go by and drop off. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, summary. Uh, wonderful, wonderful and summary. Just this week, please think of it. Spare even for five minutes for my sake and ask yourself, I uh, say, for example, if you are Lena, so Lena, what I have been doing for all these years. If you are 50, then say, what I have been doing for 49 years. I'm repeating the same experiences every day. Uh, some spices I put every day, 24 hours. Uh, I sleep. One day the sleep is disturbed, the other day is very refreshing, the third day I sleep for a longer period. And then in that waking hours, I have moments of anxiety, I have moments of hesitation, I have moments of likes, I have moments of dislikes. I like this and I dislike this. And that continues for, e it has been continued, days after days, weeks after weeks. And my mind is not aware of this. My mind says, no, let me have a billion dollars, I'll be happy. I'm more happy now being homeless. I can tell you, frankly. <laughs> and so I'm jobless, I'm more happy. Now just, just think of it. When it goes into the head and then say, oh my goodness, who knows you don't need any session. You will write to me, I got it. I can tell you, even contemplation and reflection will help you to go deeper. Oh, I got it. Why the hell I've been running, moving? Days after days, the same thing. And your mind will awaken to it and you will tell me, come on, I got it. And if I, even if I join your session, I will join your session just for the sake of a joy. 
to reconfirm, to reaffirm. Look at it. I wish everyone should do that. So let us uh, bring it.